I'm standing here on my ship. Let me go again. I'm standing here in my ship, moored to the Quai de Terrignon, beneath the glorious citadel of Bessasson, hard by the wild river Doub. Not maybe, uh, not maybe, uh, not maybe uh, two-thirds the length of your local gridiron from uh, the barrage. We are moored in a very small, narrow basin. And from these three windows of this midship's cabin, I look at a willow and read a strewn little peninsula, maybe 40 feet in breadth narrowing to a tip at the barrage. Beyond this peninsula, the Doub runs fast for her rendezvous with the sweet old, yeah, yeah, Tranfil Sone. The idea was like a second birth. When I'm 12 years old and I see sailing ships, huh? Now I'm, uh, I'm uh, what the hell am I? I'm, I'm 52, huh? And I know through our friend Stevenson and through, you know, I know, okay, here's another world, huh? So it was a rebirth. Huh? And that's what I would love to, that's what I'm going to try to get in, 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 the, in this book I'm working on. Yeah, it was like, like living twice. Huh? Usually men, when they're 52, they die. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. I see them all the time, you know, in the, uh, near my wife's house. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going now, I'm going on, I'm going on, you know, I'm 65 and I'm, okay, but for the last three or four years, I look at them, and they look much older than I do, hmm? and they're 47, hmm? huh? and they're dead, huh? you know when they died? They died the day they came out of the university and said to a company like Xerox or IBM, I go to work for you. Hmm? Hmm? And I will haul my ass up the uh, ladder. Hmm? Until when I am 60, I will retire. Hmm? All right, they died when they were 22. You know what I mean? Strange, isn't it? Huh? God damn! You know, I, I came over. I came over Norway one time. Huh? Coming in over the polar, polar route. Huh? Everybody. <coughs> hmm? Now me, I don't sleep much. Huh? Not when I'm traveling. Huh? <laughs> Not when I'm on the road. Huh? Oh no, I don't sleep at all. I look down here at the northern tip of Norway and the whole damn place is snow hmm? but there is some neon from a town hmm? and some smoke hmm? and it is so beautiful hmm? and I look around at my uh, amigos 
I think, holy shit, baby. Mm -hmm. Strange, isn't it? For Christ's sake. Strange that you can't see. My God, what a, what a terrible affliction, huh? This gentleman said a most beautiful thing to me down below uh, about uh, perhaps, what, one hour ago? When I was trying to find, I was trying to find a piece of paper to show to you, a, a, a thing from, a, from, a, from, a, from a, the International Tribune, I couldn't find it. And I said, damn, you know, uh, it's so terrible not to be organized. And this man said, well, you are organized in another way. And I said to him, yeah, yeah, I know that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Das erste Mal sind wir auf gut Glück nach Besançon gefahren. Wir hatten Sterling Hayden aus dem Kino gekannt. Wir hatten ihn geliebt als Johnny Guitar. Und dennoch war er niemals nur eine Kinofigur für uns gewesen. Aus seinem autobiografischen Roman Wanderer wussten wir von Widersprüchen ohne Versöhnung, von Rastlosigkeit ohne Anfang und Ende und von einer Lebensgeschichte, die keine Geschichte ergibt. Von der Existenz eines Mannes, der mit 15 zur See gegangen und seitdem in den unterschiedlichsten und gegensätzlichsten Welten zu Hause gewesen ist. Und zu keinem Augenblick in irgendeiner. Eines Mannes, der immer und überall ein Außenseite gewesen ist und der ein Leben voller Angst, Unrast und Einsamkeit auf sich genommen hat, um ein Außenseiter zu sein. Dieses Abenteuer ist nicht abenteuerlich. Aber zu verschiedensten Zeiten hat Hollywood in Haydens Lebensgeschichte einen Stoff für Abenteuerfilme gesehen. Da ist der junge Seemann und Südseefahrer, der im Hurricane ein Schiff verliert. In Hollywood auf Anhieb zwei Hauptrollen erhält, den weiblichen Star der beiden Filme heiratet und mit dem neuen Schiff wieder verschwindet. An der Seite der jugoslawischen Partisanen gegen die Nazis kämpft und nach Amerika und Hollywood als Kriegsheld wiederkehrt. Das zweite Szenario schreibt der Seefahrer und Schriftsteller Warwick Tompkins, ein enger Freund Haydens, wie ein typisch unpolitischer amerikanischer Junge sich entwickelt zu einem militanten Teilnehmer am Klassenkampf, der Untertitel des geplanten Buchs. 
Das dritte Szenario ein Vierteljahrhundert später, als Rolle für Robert Redford, der Filmstar und ehemalige Seefahrer und Kriegsheld, der eines Tages aussteigt. Der Rebell und Nonkonformist, der Hollywood den Rücken kehrt, mit seinen Kindern in die Südsee segelt, anfängt ernsthaft zu schreiben und sich dem Kampf der Bürgerrechtsbewegung verschreibt. Nichts davon stimmt, obwohl jedes Wort wahr ist. Wir wussten von einem anderen Kampf, der niemals seinen Sieger kennt. Dem Krieg mit sich selbst. Das erste Mal sind wir auf gut Glück nach Besançon gefahren. Wir wussten nicht einmal, ob wir Hayden antreffen würden. Wir hatten schon ein Jahr nach ihm gesucht und mit ihm telefoniert, als er in London, New York, San Francisco war. Aber jedes Mal, kaum dass wir ihn gefunden hatten, schien er schon wieder im Aufbruch. Wir blieben drei Tage auf dem Boot, redend, rauchend, mit Hayden trinkend, ihm zuhörend. Die allernächste Nähe und die schmerzlichste Distanz zugleich. Wir reisten nur ab, um zurückzukehren. Um einen Film zu drehen, den Hayden selbst uns vorzuschlagen schien. Ein Porträt, eine Momentaufnahme und eine Sammlung von Erzählungen. Ein 65-jähriger Mann führt auf einem Flussboot ein einsames und chaotisches Leben zwischen allen Stühlen. Vier Tage später waren wir wieder zurück und drehten eine Woche lang. All the creatures of commercial enterprise, hmm? a canal barge is by far the most delightful to contemplate. It may spread its sails and then you see it sailing high above the treetops and the windmill, sailing on the act, da 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 and the horse, and the horse, because, you know, when he was writing, this is 1886, hmm? And the horse plods along at a foot pace, as if there was no such thing as business in the world. And the man dreaming of the tiller, sees the same spire on the horizon all day long, all day long. And so far as I can make out, time, uh, time, time, uh, stands as nearly still with him as is compatible, which means, uh, you know, uh, uh, practical. With the return of bedtime or the dinner hour, it is hard, it is not easy to see why a bargee should ever die. My world was the, um, was the scene. And the sea is, 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 uh, is rough, huh? Hmm? 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 I mean, the rivers, ah, the rivers and the canals can be rough, but the sea is, uh, you know, it's different, huh? And I read, uh, I read, uh, where? That thing, that book I threw on the floor. Jesus, I shouldn't do that, should I? You break the back of a book when you do that. Hmm? Well, I felt keyed up. Hmm? 
And I thought, well, uh, <coughs> pardon, I thought, um, maybe one day, you know, when I get old, huh? I don't want to go out there anymore. Hmm? And I read Stevenson. And as I think you might agree, it's very beautiful. Hmm? Something about it that is not like, you know, the sea, the sea, the sea, the sea, the goddamn motherfucking sea, you know, it's a, 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 it's an empty world, huh? There are no lights in the, in the cities. You don't go by towns at night, hmm? You don't go by, like we're, what, what, what we're seeing here, huh? You don't go by this, hmm? What do you see? You see the goddamn, uh, God damn, excuse me, the, the, the blue ocean, hmm? Which it could be extraordinarily beautiful, huh? But also very lonely, huh? So I thought maybe one day, hmm? Okay, so one day comes, you know, when I start smoking the uh, hashish, hmm? God bless us, we should have another glass, another head, you know. So I started smoking, and, um, And I think, yeah, huh? 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 Yeah. Why not, huh? My wife is living in a, in a, in a, in a, in a what the hell is the word in German for suburbia? Suburbia. You know what suburbia is? Suburbia, which is the outside of a big city, you know, and it's, uh, yeah. Unser Ankunftstag war auch unser erster Drehtag. Hayden hatte gemeint, wir sollten sofort beginnen. Kurz nach uns trafen französische Zollbeamte ein, die Hayden beinahe regelmäßig heimzusuchen scheinen. Immer fehlen irgendwelche Papiere und Bescheinigungen. Monsieur. He looks back and he looks back.
God damn, that's nice. Jesus Christ, wine. Beautiful sight, isn't it? Hmm? Two bottles of wine. We should open one, shouldn't we? Eckhart, should we not open a bottle of wine? Hmm? For the dupe? Huh? For the for the dawn? Hmm? For the for the for the police? That's puzzle. Oh wait. That's oh. water. That's open. That's not wine. That's water. Well screw that. That's not for you. That's wine. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what an afternoon. Unsere Hoffnung, Hayden würde während der Dreharbeiten weniger trinken, war vergebens. Wir versuchten uns mit Dana zu besprechen, doch der wollte sich heraushalten. Sein Vater wisse schon, was er tue. Dana ist Haydens zweitältester Sohn. Er hat dieses Jahr angeheuert, auf das Schiff aufzupassen, wenn Hayden nicht da ist. Und auf Hayden selbst, solange er da ist. Wir wussten inzwischen, dass Hayden das Boot 1968 in Holland gekauft und es sich selber hergerichtet hat. Es war ein Lastkahn gewesen, der wie Salt Weten geheißen hat. Hayden hat das mit Who Knows übersetzt. Wer weiß. Und er hat ein Fragezeichen ans Heck gemalt. Lange Zeit hat das Schiff am Quai Conti in Paris vor Anker gelegen, gleich gegenüber Notre Dame. Und lange Zeit ist Hayden mit ihm die Flüsse und Kanäle entlang gefahren, zwischen Rotterdam und Marseille. Das Boot ist einer der Orte, die er sich zum Schreiben ausgesucht hat. Er verbringt hier die Hälfte des Jahres. Wenn er nicht auf der Suche nach einem Platz, wo er schreiben kann, unterwegs ist zwischen Sosalito und San Francisco, wo die meisten seiner Kinder sind, und New York und Connecticut, wo seine Frau Kitty lebt. Menken said, Don't talk to me about your beautiful studios. Hmm? The best place for a writer to work hmm? is in a cheap hotel, in an inside room, on the, what we call, air shaft, hmm? with a jackhammer, you know, da -da 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 -da, huh? going down below, huh? and the landlord, the owner, banging on the door for the, for the, for the money. Hmm? I like that. Hmm? So here, this is so beautiful, you know, it's almost too beautiful. Hmm? You understand? No? No? Yeah. It's almost too beautiful. <laughs> the door. Married, baby. Christ. This was my university, hmm? this ship. Hmm? My, my, my secondary school, you know? And, um, and the men who were working there, they would not let their sons fish, you know? They said, work in a goddamn gas station, hmm? work in the post office, hmm? but don't go on the ships. Hmm? And so in a way for me, it was very easy because I was strong hmm? and I was happy. And that wonderful word, uh, committed, enthusiastic, 
and I have a I found very quickly that I had a, 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 a quality um, that I always tried to be uh, to be to be decent to uh, to other men you know and if you are it makes it you know it's it, it, usually men are rough you know what I mean and so if you were decent polite they think huh and um, so I got along very well very well very well you know and um, But I think mainly it was the beauty. Hmm? Um, we might even say grandeur. Hmm? Yeah. The grandeur of a big sailing ship, very powerful thing. Sometimes when I was working on a ship that was not a sailing ship, but she was a working ship. Huh? Working ships have a beauty to them hmm? that yachts never have. Hmm? Maybe, uh, you know, uh, 50, 60, 70 years ago when they had big, big, big yachts like the Wanderer or a little bigger, um, or like that schooner I had that belonged to the Kaiser. Hmm? Well, they were beautiful. That Dan Aldebaran, man. Meteor, Meteor 3 she was. Meteor 3. Hmm? The Kaiser had um, four meteors, you know, four, four uh, hmm? over the years. Hmm? Go like hell. Hmm? Go like goddamn hell, you know? That's how I got to Hollywood, you know? Because I lost her, right? As you yeah. hmm? Hackest breath shows white. Hmm? Some white laborers like daybreak, you know, every morning into the east. Now for the waiting time. Because you have to you have to wait huh, for the fish to bite. Now for the waiting time. Nothing to do but wait. Wait for an hour or more, hoping the fish will bite. Waiting for the Tabo's horn, because when they when the captain uh, pulled the horn, then you haul. Hmm? This is the coldest time of all because you're not working. Hackett's head droops on his chest. He locks his back and starts heaving in on the trawl. The kid, me, I'm coiling down in a bucket. And he says, hey boy, let me tell you, this is a poor fucking way to get rich. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Matrose war Hayden mit 15, 16. Fischer bei den Grand Banks im Nordatlantik. Bei seiner ersten Weltumsegelung war er schon Mart. Ein Kapitän mit 20. Lokale Zeitungen brachten seine Fotografie. Der hühnenhafte, blonde Wikinger solle Filmstar werden. Vier Jahre später, 1940, sinkt sein erstes eigenes Schiff, die Aldebaran, mit der er eine Schiffslinie in der Südsee betreiben wollte. Jetzt geht Hayden tatsächlich zum Film. Nach einem Jahr in Hollywood hat er genug Geld zusammen für einen neuen Schoner. Er transportiert noch vor Kriegseintritt der USA auf eigene Faust Waffen nach Südamerika. Er lässt sich in Schottland zum Fallschirmspringer ausbilden. Von 1942 bis 1944 befehligt er eine kleine Flotte von Fischerbooten in der Adria, mit denen er die deutsche Blockade brechen und die Partisanen Titus mit Nachschub versorgen soll. Wir haben gelesen, dass Hayden insgesamt 18 Schiffe besessen und selbst während seiner Zeit in Hollywood auf Schiffen gewohnt haben soll. Und Schiffe und die See machen abergläubisch. Sein erstes Flussschiff nennt er Who Knows. Aber sie ist schon lange die Pharos of Chaos geworden, wie auch sein neues Buch heißen wird. An demselben Tag, als er der Kommunistischen Partei Amerikas beitritt, kauft er sich ein Schiff, das er Quest nennt.
Suche. Zwei Jahrzehnte später heißt ein neues Schiff Wanderer. Das Ende der Suche und ein neuer Anfang. Mit dem Wanderer wird er nach Tahiti segeln und Hollywood und für was es steht, für immer verlassen. Wanderer. Einer, der ruhelos umherwandert. Später Nachmittag. One night I am, uh, I would say, uh, two thirds uh, sloshed. Hm? I'm looking at the camera now for something. Sometimes one looks at the camera. Hm? I'm two thirds gone, baby. Huh? Two thirds gone. Hmm? Out in front of my little hotel window, while I'm quaffing, as they say in England, the 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 porto, hmm? and sampling the uh, the pipe. Hmm? I see a drama. Hmm? For me, like opera, hmm? like opera. Hmm? Some people go to opera. Hmm? Some people go to to huh? to ballet. Hmm? Hey, to film. Hey, I look out, huh? I see, I see a fantastic thing. I see three big goddamn Swiss barges coming up the river. Mm -hmm. Below the hotel is a German Panache. May I say? Hey? Now, they begin to make the break, mm -hmm. to make the turn, huh? And the wire is apart. Eh? As we say, part, part, how do you say part, part, break, break, now. The two, uh, the two lead barges come in toward the German barge below my hotel window. Hmm? Now. Why do you look away? <laughs> now. The, the master huh? of the, uh, of the towboat, he does what every, shipmaster will do, he goes, so, so, trouble, hmm? trouble, trouble, trouble. Huh? Put up, put up, put up, put up a problem, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, down here, I'm taking a tug off my pipe. And I watch a wonderful thing, may I say, a most beautiful thing. One of the things that I will remember until the day I die. I watched the, 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 the master, the master of the German uh, Panisch, huh? He comes up and he's wearing his uh, skivvies. We say skivvies, huh? Now, he knows immediately, huh? The shit is in the fan. As we say, the shit is in the fan. Huh? Here are coming toward him uh, two goddamn barges, huh? Maybe 5,000 ton, huh? He presses a button, like I pressed for you the other day. Crunk! She goes, you know. And he does a wonderful thing. Hmm? He puts her ahead. Hmm? He puts her astern. He gets up the uh, the momentum. And then he goes wide open astern. He breaks the lines. And he backs out. And the barges come crashing into the cave. With about, I would say, uh, uh, 10 meters of uh, slack. Hmm? That's good, isn't it? To do that so fast, huh? To come up in your skivvies, huh? And suddenly think, baby, I ain't got no time to do nothing. Huh? Hey? You beautiful girl, huh? I ain't got no time to I I I I I I I ain't got no time to say hello to my friends on my own ship. I gotta do one thing. I gotta go, I gotta haul. And he hauled, huh? I think that's very nice. That to me is an example of what 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 it called a seamanship. Seamanship, uh, the same thing made the lies line that we were talking about. No? Same thing, same thing, same thing. Damn, 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 damn. It was a third kick, you know? Wait a minute, one, two, no, it's fourth kick, fourth kick. Fourth kick. Which is, of course, again, uh, part of the uh, fundamental of... Uh,
Hmm? Yeah, shoot the river. Shoot the dude. I was saying to you, Eckhart, on the K, hmm? that you came here to uh, to make some film, hmm? and you discovered that uh, suddenly I'm I'm drinking extremely hard, hmm? for which again I apologize to you. No, I do, and to all of you. Hmm? But in a way, no, because hmm? in a way, it's me. Hmm? And I was thinking last night that what you have, as I said to you when you were on the K, you have a record of exactly what alcoholism is. Mm -hmm. It's not a picture of, uh, 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 your film is not about alcoholism. It is there, baby. It is there. And I, uh, I have the, uh, I think I have the, the strength to, to, to say, okay, I know, I'm sorry, sure, in a way, but also I think, okay, that's the way it goes right now, huh? Again, last night I was thinking, uh, if anybody in, in, in your country or in my country made a picture about what it is like to be a drunk, hmm? Oh boy, hmm? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Am I wrong? No. Huh? Felix? It's, it's a it's like I have I, I, I have not said much to you but I I, I have many um, what we call journals you know? journals 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 huh? diaries records 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 which were kept on on, on, uh, on hashish huh? maybe I mentioned this excuse me but uh, but they are magnificent because they are they are not about huh? like when I stand here now and I write about uh, uh, let's say uh, Bessasson huh? Or the war, or Hollywood, or going down the Rhone. Okay, I, that's that's one thing, huh? But the journals are uh, the way it is at at the time, huh? Just what goes through your head, you know? Huh? Wir waren zur gewohnten Zeit an Bord gekommen, und Hayden hatte noch geschlafen. Dana erzählte uns, dass sein Vater die vergangene Nacht mit einer Gruppe amerikanischer Touristen verbracht hatte. Sie hatten ihn erkannt sich mit ihm fotografieren lassen und sie hatten viele Toasts auf ihn ausgebracht. Bei der Rückkehr zum Boot war er von der schmalen Planke Kopf über in den Fluss gestürzt. Er hatte sich kaum über Wasser halten können. Danner war aufgewacht und war ihm zu Hilfe gekommen, im letzten Augenblick. But like I said earlier, you see, now in a way, I'm all fucked up, huh? Because I'm alone. Huh? Sure, my son's back there. Huh? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Huh? Sure, you were here. But maybe after an hour or two or three, you will uh, go, you know? And I'm down here, huh? And it's nighttime, huh? And I'm alone. I want to be alone. You know what I mean? I want very, 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 very much to be able to do what, what, you, what, what you are doing right now, huh? Simply put my hand out and touch uh, a girl, huh? Okay. Okay, my ass. Um, it ain't okay. Um, but I must say, you know, I, I, uh, in terms of alcohol, it doesn't make any difference, you know? If my wife was here, I'd still be drinking. You know, follow me? Huh? Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure one reason my wife is not here hmm? is... Huh? 
Sure. Captain Dennison Boardman. Awakened, reluctantly. And hmm? Banning Blanche's palace car, hmm? the railroad car, hmm? of the uh, the other cars, hmm? In the middle of such a monumental hangover, that for, the sol for a solid three minutes, he was unable to open his eyes. Hmm? You, none of you know that yet. Hmm? Indeed. It was all he could do to slither, which is fall, off the bed. Hmm? And crawl on all fours about, you know, on his legs, on his knees, and on his... Hmm? In a desperate quest for the chamber mug. That's the thing you piss him. Hmm? <laughs> a uh, handsome example of the potter, that's the people who make hmm? the pottery, hmm? a handsome example of the potter's art embossed with porcelain posies, flowers. Hmm? This receptacle he proceeded at once to fill. Hmm? from a kneeling position, with his eyes beginning to open, and his head braced <laughs> between the bars of a, like, bars like this, you know, of a narrow uh, a brass bed. Uh, hmm? Damn, oh God, oh Jesus. He muttered gratefully, gratefully, recalling that Blanche did da 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 Steward, he Paul. Steward is a, you know, a, a black man who takes care of you in those times. Huh? Steward, huh? You know what steward, huh? Fetch my whiskey. Huh? And my big cup. Huh? And a pail full of ice. And be goddamn quick about it, boy. Or I'll warm your fat black ass. <laughs> a female's voice. That's what I was saying earlier. A female's voice exploded beyond the the uh, the uh, partition, the uh, the wall. Hmm? Don't swear, you dirty old son of a bitch! <laughs> the captain froze on his knees. Hmm? The lady's voice was raucous. It boomed through the arbiter. The name of the car. It boomed through the arbiter like the cry of a wounded moose. That's a that's a big deer hmm? with a with a fucking horn. Hmm? And reaching the extremity, uh, extremities, excuse me, of the car, came volleying back with a rush of air as the big ex-shipmaster, upsetting his potty, he, he turned over his piss pot, lunged headlong back on the bed. Land of Goshen, that's an American expression, Land of Goshen, I don't know, it comes from the Bible, I think. Land of Goshen, Goshen is uh, somewhere near uh, Jerusalem. Huh? Land of Goshen. He groaned. I brung the hussy with me. You understand? The hussy? Huh? The whore. Tumbling out of his bed, he checked for his watch. Hmm? Which we always do. Counted the bills in his, in his uh, wallet. Hmm? At the same time, trying to recall where the car was. Hmm? Beaver. The black man hmm? came in with the booze. Hmm? You know, I went to a hospital for alcohol. Hmm? And one of the people, uh, one of the ladies, who was the, you know, the, uh, the, uh, like, like a, uh, an instructor, like a teacher. Hmm? And she said, you know, she said, uh, she said to me, I read your book, Voyage. And I realized that that man who wrote that book hmm, knew much more than I know 
about alcohol. Okay. So your question doesn't really make sense to me. Huh? Sure. Christ, 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 of course, I can write about alcohol, but my problem is I can't write. I, uh, except, you know, all, uh, 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 right now uh, I write a little bit, but not all the time, you know what I mean? I don't write regularly. Yeah. It's a funny kind of a tragedy, you know? It's a funny kind of a tragedy because um confuses me, if you'll excuse me, hmm? is that I, I ain't all that unhappy. You know what I mean? Part of me is very happy. Hmm? Part of me knows I'm strong. I know I can write. I know I have this, this ship. I know I have my, you know, my, not only one son, but many sons. Hmm? And one beautiful daughter. Hey. Hey. So why, 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 why do I drink? I don't know. But nobody knows, huh? Huh? Eh? Why do people kill themselves? Some of the most beautiful people that, that you that you know, huh? Huh? Eh? Kill themselves. Pourquoi? Huh? Virginia Woolf, hmm? lovely, crazy, uh, uh, bisexual uh, English writer, huh? Who one day put some, uh, put some, uh, some, 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 uh, some rocks, huh? Some stones in her in her pocket and walked into the river in front of her house and drowned herself. Huh? Hemingway, hmm? Hmm? but one day. When he was only, what, 52? 50, no, 50, 56? He takes, like I said the other day, he takes a, a, a double-barreled uh, shotgun, huh? and he blows his head off. Why do I fall in hell? Huh? Same thing. This is a form of, 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 of suicide. Huh? Surely. I think. No? Surely. Surely. If it had not been for my son, hmm? I would not be here this morning, you know? Because I could not, I, I, like I said this morning, I could not get my head out, out of the water, you know what I mean? And my friend. <laughs> hmm? He comes after me, he comes right in. <laughs> right in, huh? And he grabs me. Bonsoir. And he gives me enough strength, huh, to put one hand on this ship, hmm? 
one gun. <laughs> And this is my connection with life? Hmm? Hey, here, hey! I know I got good hands, I got good hands, you know? And I hang on. Hmm? And he comes around, you know, with this, with this boat, very quickly. Hmm? And somehow he, he, he pulls me out, huh? I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything, huh? <coughs> Excuse me. So in a way, for him, huh? Amen. Amen. Hey. Hey. What's what? When I realized, you see, that Pharos of Islandia hmm, was not really in the way it was, hmm, or the way it is. Hmm. You see, it's funny, if you'll excuse me, uh, it's funny, um, I use the word Pharos, hmm, huh? which is lighthouse. Huh? I thought, you know, I thought certainly in, 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 uh, in Paris, huh? Huh? At the Cape Conti? Hmm? This ship was sort of a lighthouse, you know what I mean? Sort of a, a place, a beacon, uh, you know what I mean? Of, 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 of happiness, huh? of music, huh? of hashish, of dreams. Strong, good. Huh? Okay, Pharos. Huh? And so the word Islandia was, I think, okay. And then I realized I'm working too hard with this, huh? And the chaos is, uh, huh? Is not knowing exactly what to do. Hmm? So what am I doing? I ain't doing nothing. Hmm? I ain't doing bullshit, huh? I can work on a picture, sure. It's not, it's, in a way, it's not hard to work on a picture. You know what I mean? I mean, huh? You follow me? Sure, I can go, I can go uh, tomorrow to, uh, you know, any place and work on a film, huh? But the slow, basic, strong, beautiful, 
driving force that we that we have within us to write, huh? I ain't got. I ain't got. So that becomes chaos, you know what I mean? When you go through weeks after weeks after weeks, huh? and months after months after months, I think, okay, something is uh, wrong. Mm -hmm. Something is um, what we call haywire. And I had what's called a breakdown. You know what a breakdown is? Huh? Another word? A breakdown? And I find myself crying. Huh? Crying, crying, crying. You know what I mean? Crying all the time. This is rough shit, huh? Huh? Crying, huh? You know what I mean? Just like you're collapsed, like you're uh, like you're dead, hmm? and you'd be better off if you were dead. You know what I mean? But you're not dead. You're alive. But you're crying. Hmm? Drinking? Now I think, holy shit, you know, what's uh, what's going on, huh? huh? What's happening, huh? Me, and I, I, you know, I know myself pretty well, may I say? And like I've said, if you pardon me, I know I've said before, I know I'm a strong son of a bitch. Huh? Very strong. But I'm crying, like a baby. Right. And like I said, you know, thinking at times, where's the gun? Hmm? Huh? Just blow it away, baby. Blow it, huh? Christ. Yeah, but we also know, huh? Do we not? I know, huh? As we're talking now, huh? As we've been talking for several uh, days, huh? There are people in the world who are in, in, in prison, hmm? Hmm? in jail, hmm? in solitary. Hmm? People who are being tortured. Hmm? So this, in a way, is paradise. Hmm? Paradise, eh? it's beautiful. But in a way, it's like um, a prison without bars. You follow me? It's a jail that we make ourselves. Which maybe is worse than the than the than the formal. Uh, hmm? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. It's not. Of course, it's not. Because I know damn goddamn well that I can uh, walk up here hmm? if I can get there, and I can use, if I need to, I can get there, hmm? and I can go anywhere. Hmm? If you're in jail, you can't move, can you? Huh? They got those big goddamn doors. Huh? Gee no, it ain't jail. It ain't jail. It's, it's just a, I don't know. 
Again, maybe it's chaos, huh? Am Morgen wollte Hayden nicht an Bord bleiben. Er lud uns zu einem Spaziergang ein entlang der Du. Später, am Nachmittag, bekam er ein Telegramm. Es war von seiner Frau. Ihre erste Nachricht seit vier Monaten, seit er wieder auf dem Boot war. Er weinte. Dann wollte er mit uns in die Stadt telegrafieren. Auf dem Weg überlegte er es sich anders. that little tree, huh? Eckhart, huh? That little tree, huh? Who put that tree there? Who, huh? I'll tell you who put it there. The same guy said to James Dean one night, take that goddamn uh, Porsche and go uh, 120 miles an hour and kill yourself. Same man, huh? Same guy said to me last night, fall in the water. Fall in the water, for Christ's sake. For Christ's fucking sake. Oh, Christ. Like ballet, you see? Huh? 
You know, I, I, I learned that with Altman, with Robert Altman, huh? You understand? Huh? That it can, it is possible, huh? For the actor or the person to work with the cinematographer, huh? And the director, and the writer, huh? And we all work together, huh? And it is like, in a way, ballet, huh? But also, it's always, for me, very difficult to, to call anybody, you know, and say, hey, mademoiselle, uh, garçon, I, I can't do that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think maybe uh, they're, they're, they're doing their job, again, like we said about the police. Huh? Huh? I do my job and nobody calls me. Nobody says Sterling. Yeah, the director's calling you. Yeah, you say to me. Yeah? Okay, but we're close. No, I mean the Hollywood director. Si peu faire. Ouais. 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 Des doubles de Pernod. Des quoi Des doubles de Pernod. Pernod Si. Ah d'accord. Des doubles de Pernod. Alors deux Et pour vous Et un calvaire. Et pour vous Et pour les deux Manfred, what do you wish to drink? Coca-Cola. And one morning I'm walking down the waterfront in San Francisco. Mm -hmm near the uh, Oakland Bay Bridge. Mm -hmm. And I'm, uh, I look more or less like this, you know. I, I'm you know. And I see a man coming toward me, huh? What we call a tramp. A tramp. Hobo. Hobo. Huh? Okay. And, uh, I said to him, uh, good morning, good morning. I said, where are you from? He said, St. Louis. I said, where are you in from right now? And how did you get here? I said, did you come, uh, did you come uh, hitching, hitching, or did you come on the, on the trains? He said, I came on the trains. I said, where from? He said, Chicago. And I said, because I knew that he didn't, you know, he had, he had, he had, he had, a, he had a, a beat up old pair of tennis shoes, you know, sneakers. You know? And the black socks, that were not black socks, they were dirt on his legs. You know? And I said, how are you fixed for change? Because I knew I was going to give him some money. Huh? And he says to me, brother, this morning I can't spare a dime. <laughs> he thought I was hitting him. <laughs> can't spare a dime. You know the um, fantastic um, writer Ibsen? Ibsen? Yeah. Ibsen said that good men do nothing, 
is the chief danger of our time. Okay. Let's haul ass, huh? Should we haul? Shall I help you finish your drink? You take half, I take half. Im Wondra schreibt Hayden über diesen Tag, es ist ein Datum, das er niemals mehr in seinem Leben vergessen wird. Der 10. April 1951. Ich muss schwören, die Wahrheit, die ganze Wahrheit zu sagen. Ich prüfe unauffällig den Sitz meines Anzugs. Im linken Knopfloch prangt dezent eine Kriegsauszeichnung. Der Chefermittler des Komitees schlägt die Stimmgabel und ich fange gehorsam an zu singen. Ich bin bestens vorbereitet. Nur wenige Spitzler und Denunzianten, die vor diesem Hohen Haus ihren Auftritt hatten, waren besser präpariert als ich. Ergeben bete ich meine Litanei herunter. Am 10. April 1951 in aller Frühe fliegt Hayden mit seiner damaligen Frau Betty von Los Angeles nach Washington. Noch am Abend desselben Tages fliegen sie von Washington nach Los Angeles zurück. Dazwischen ist viel passiert. Hayden ist gefragt worden, ob er Mitglied der Kommunistischen Partei sei oder jemals gewesen sei. Sagt er wahrheitsgemäß aus, setzt das einen Prozess in Gang, an dessen Ausgang notwendigerweise Verrat und Denunziation stehen. Verweigert er die Aussage, ist die Karriere in Hollywood zu Ende, und droht ihm eine Gefängnisstrafe. Das vom Kongress der Vereinigten Staaten eingesetzte Komitee gegen unamerikanische Umtriebe führt Schein- und Schauprozesse. Es kennt alle Antworten. Es will sie nur öffentlich haben. Der nach innen gewendete Kalte Krieg lässt keinen in Frieden. Schon gar nicht einen Ex-Kommunisten. Keinen, der auch nur im Entferntesten in den Verdacht unamerikanischer Gedanken oder Taten gebracht werden kann. Die Definition dieses Begriffs liegt im Ermessen einer Handvoll Reaktionäre und profilierungssüchtiger Politiker wie McCarthy und Nixon und ihrer Komplizen wie Ronald Reagan, dem Sprecher der Schauspielergilde. Das Komitee kennt auch alle Namen, die Hayden nennen muss, nachdem er einmal sich selbst genannt hat. Sie sollen nur öffentlich genannt sein. Das Komitee will öffentliche Reue und Selbsterniedrigung. Es will ein Exempel statuieren. Es kommt wohl selten vor, sagt Hayden im Wanderer, dass ein Mann mit Lobeshymnen überschüttet wird für etwas, für das er sich selbst zutiefst verachtet. Many of the people who were rats before the committee hmm? never actually uh, said the way I've said. Hmm? I'm saying now, with you, huh? or I said in Wanderer. I said, okay. I was a shit. Hmm? An absolute goddamn shit. Hmm? But I would say one thing if I might. If 
you, 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 you. If we hurt anybody, we must live with that. I can talk and talk and talk and talk, okay? okay. But if I hurt a man named Warwick Tompkins, and I did, I must live with this, you know, all my life. And when the son says to me, well, thank you, or you know, whatever, after the Cuban uh, blockade uh, thing, sure, that's a beautiful moment, you know? But the fact remains that one day I, 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 I sat there in Washington and I spilled his name. And they fired him the next morning. Huh? In Los Angeles, they fired him. And he was making, he was making a picture about ants. <laughs> and they fired him, huh? My communist dream, hmm? after World War II, my communist dream, you know, which I tried to write about, you know, in Voyage, uh, was, uh, it, it is necessary, it is necessary for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, for a force to overcome capitalism. Because hmm? I know capitalism is, uh, shit, huh? in a way, hmm? Is it not? Eh? Okay, so, I used to think, okay, the Soviet Union, huh? but now I realize that you know, uh, 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 I'm crazy, you know, I'm crazy. You see, I think, I think the wonderful thing about Yugoslavia was that Tito was sort of a mix. Hmm? He was half uh, West, half East, huh? He was half uh, capitalism, half communism, you know? And, uh, and of course, in, 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 in the war, why, uh, the first time I began to think, hmm? that's redundant, excuse me, um, first time I began to think, for Christ's sake, baby, no wonder you can't write, uh, um, first time I thought, hmm? We come in from, uh, we come in off the goddamn Grand Banks and we sell fish for two cents a pound. And the same afternoon, my mother buys the fish for 11. I thought, now oh, wait a minute. Huh? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. I've been out there with my friend, Jack Hackett, hmm? in the snowstorm, hauling our goddamn ass off. And we come in, and we bust our ass, and we get two cents, and they sell it for some, something happens between uh, the Boston Fish Pier and uh, where my mother lived. And she goes to 11 cents. No, 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 no. And then in the war, I remember thinking when I was in the Marines, thinking, okay, we're getting $42 a month, hmm? and all these bastards are getting, uh, how many thousand dollars uh, for, 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 for making what we fight with? I'm thinking, man, you got it all turned around. Huh? You should be getting the $42 a month, and we, we should be getting rich before we die. <laughs> before I jump into goddamn Yugoslavia, hmm? in the middle of the night, hmm? with about uh, 40 pounds of, uh, not cameras, hmm? of um, guns, hmm? getting $42, huh? and you fuckers are getting uh, $100,000 a week. Hmm? Die Kameras Hollywoods liefen heiß, lesen wir im Wanderer, aus meinem neu erworbenen Status als blitzsauberer Kulturheld das Beste zu machen. Profit. Zwischen 1951 und 58 dreht Hayden bis zu sechs Filme pro Jahr. Western, Gangsterfilme, Kriegsfilme, Melodramen. Eine gigantische Orgie der Selbstbestrafung. 
und zu gleicher Zeit der lange und sorgfältig geplante, sorgsam gehütete Anlauf zu einem erneuten und dieses Mal endgültigen Ausbruch, der dann trotzdem ganz spontan kommt. Jahrelang hatte Hayden vergeblich versucht, das Sorgerecht für seine vier Kinder übertragen zu bekommen. Dann ist er es leid und sticht einfach mit ihnen in See. Als er ein Jahr später aus Tahiti zurückkehrt, ist er entschlossen, weiter an seinem Buch zu arbeiten, zieht nach San Francisco und heiratet seine jetzige Frau Kitty. Er macht zehn Jahre lang keine Filme mehr. Von einer einzigen Ausnahme abgesehen, die exemplarisch ist. Sie bezeichnet einen Weg, der bei der Abrechnung mit der eigenen Vergangenheit und einem Buch wie dem Wanderer nicht enden kann. Yeah, I went to a black church in Buffalo, New York. Hmm? Buffalo. And during the, uh, the, the civil rights time, I went there um, and I, I made a speech. And uh, I'm not a good speaker. Hmm? I can do three things. I think I can do what we're doing together. I know I, you know, I, I, I can do that. Hmm? I can sail a ship. What was the third one? Well, fuck it, it's gone. Huh? Um, and right. Hmm? But in the church, uh, I got going, and, um, and um, you know, you can feel it. Huh? That's the beautiful thing. You know, I, I've never been on the stage. Huh? But I know, we all know, that this is why actors, real actors love the stage, because they can feel it coming right back. Huh? But I can feel it here now. All right, I'm in the church, and uh, and at the end, I uh, I talked all you know, 15 minutes, hmm? and it's a hard thing to do when you think about it. Me, Shirley Hayden, hmm? <laughs> to be talking to to American Negroes, huh? I mean, what the hell? We're from we're we're from we're from over here, huh? I've had everything, I've had all the luck in the world, huh? all my life, and they ain't got no luck. Hmm? All right, somehow we made a connection. In the end, I used a quotation. You know, as you know by this time, I, I, I love quotations, right? And it was Walt Whitman. Hmm? And he said, he said, I've got it, I've got it, but I'm, I'm gearing up. Um, he said, thou hast great allies. Hmm? Thy allies are agonies and exaltations and man's unconquerable mind. And they got on their goddamn feet. The place went wild. Surely, surely, took me right goddamn limb from limb. Like I said to that son of a bitch from Wales up here the other night when I hit him, you know, I told you. Hmm? Eh? Hmm? I said, I'll take you limb from goddamn limb. Hmm? So that experience before the committee? Huh? Uh, and then you go back, you go back, and then they, uh, you know, uh, somebody from Paramount calls me and says, hey, uh, uh, Sterling, we make a picture called Denver and Rio Grande, huh? Rio, they say on the railroad. Rio, not Rio. 
Most people say Rio. It's not Rio, it's Rio, huh? On the railroad. Rio Grande, huh? Denver and Rio Grande, for Christ goddamn sake, and I'm an absolute jackass, hmm? I don't even know what happened. Huh? But I knew that I had uh, sold out hmm? to the producers. Hmm? And now they're paying me off. Hmm? Like I said in Wanderer, hey, putty boy. Hmm? Putty. Great word, huh? Putty. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, so I shoot. Uh, uh, and Ronald Reagan sends me a telegram. Dear Sterling, I'm very proud of you. Huh? Huh? Hey, that's Reagan. You see, that's Reagan. That's what I said about his heart. His heart is it ain't here. It ain't where it should be. Huh? Okay, okay, man. Okay, man. No. 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 That's a hard trip to to, to come out of. Hmm? But it's funny, you know, because like I said the other day, I know I've come out of it. Hmm? In a way, hmm? it's like when the young Warwick Tompkins took my hand and said, "Congratulations." Hey, okay. Yeah. But of course, not in a way. Not you. You cannot erase. You know, if you if 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 you if you behave badly. Hmm? Let's say it's like rape. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? This is not rape of a girl, but this is rape of your friends. You cannot erase rape. Hmm? Hmm? Except that we're human. I don't know. Except that I know I have a lot of credit. Hmm? Hmm? I know that when many of the people that I knew in the Communist Party were, uh, were, uh, were, uh, were, uh, were working in Hollywood, I wasn't in Hollywood. As you know, hmm? you know where I was, hmm? right down there someplace, hmm? over the hills and far away. Hmm? Huh? Huh? Yeah, rape in a way, rape, yeah. Ah, wait a minute, it's different, isn't it? It's a rape of integrity. Hmm? 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 That's what I did, rape of integrity. I think rape of a girl, a rape of a girl by a, yeah, that would be wonderful to be raped by a girl, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't that be wonderful? Huh? Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine being chased down the Quai de Tarignon <laughs> by a girl who wants to fuck? <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> so beautiful, huh? Now, if it's different, is it because a man's strong, huh? Physically strong, huh? Right? The man can overwhelm the girl, huh? The girl, I don't think, as a rule, can overwhelm the man. Though I've seen one or two. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen one or two. But you see, the wonderful thing was, I guess, um, that John Houston takes me, huh? Shirley, hmm? and makes me dicks. John and uh, and sixty men, sixty men and ten or fifteen girls, hmm? all going together like we're going together now in a way. Hmm? Huh?
But for me, I'm still Shirley. Hmm? God damn. You know, I did a picture. I did a picture. And I was playing a gunfighter. Hmm? Hmm? Again, Shirley Hayden, slowest draw, west of the road. Hmm? I'm playing a gunfighter. <laughs> now, I, 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 I have to come out of a saloon hmm? with the swinging doors. And jump on a horse, huh? Hmm? Right over the ass, huh? Huh? And I'm, uh, oh, I, 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 I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm a general in the, in the army, huh? Huh? Why do you laugh? <laughs> I'm a general, huh? Huh? Now, a general should be able to get aboard a horse, huh? Now, I, this is true. I rehearsed, huh? in North Hollywood, huh? for two weeks, you know, how to jump over the ass end of a horse. Hmm? And I was very good in rehearsal. Hmm? But, I overlooked, hmm? overlooked one thing. Hmm? When you jump on the horse, you got to put your feet in the stirrups. Hmm? What we call it, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Those, those hooks. Hmm? Now, I come out of the saloon, huh? Me, General, uh, what the hell my name was, him? Hmm? Oh, yeah, baby. Hmm? Here we have cavalry, all the way from here to, uh, to, to, to Nevada, hmm? And I take the big jump, hmm? The big hero. I hit the saddle very beautifully, hmm? <laughs> but, <laughs> I make one mistake, hmm? I don't get the feet in the stirrups, huh? <laughs> and the horse takes off. <laughs> And I go right back over his ass, you know, <laughs> in front of the saloon. Very embarrassing, huh? Here am I, huh? There's the, uh, there's the camera, huh? Here is Peter Sellers, hmm? Here is Stanley Kubrick, hmm? Huh? And all I have to do is very simple, huh? A few pages, huh? But the way it was, I could not. Hmm? Again, like fucking, you can't get the heart on? What do you do, huh? Unlike the girl, we can't pretend, can we? I died, huh? And he begins to do uh, what, 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 what you call uh, pickups, huh? One sentence at a time, huh? Maybe, 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 maybe ten words, Mr. Hayden. You dumbass, huh? General Jack Ripper. Which was very strange, you know, because I knew I was playing the part of a man who was starting the Third World War, eh? And here I am, impotent, creatively impotent, huh? Whew. And I was working with a goddamn cigar, you know. A lot of cigars, you know. I don't like cigars. Hmm? And they kept coming apart, you know, in my mouth. Hmm? Now I think I got enough trouble. I got enough trouble, let alone with a goddamn cigar. <laughs> and uh, we went 48 takes. And that's a lot of takes. And the crew, I didn't say this the other day, the crew, at this time, the crew has turned around because they're embarrassed for me. They know I'm dying, eh? And so they look the other way. And every time uh, Kubrick said, uh, go, I would try, uh, and then I would go, boom.
funny, you know, because I'm... I often find myself playing characters, hmm? Hmm? Who are so alien, hmm? So totally, simply alien huh? to me as a man. Huh? And I think, why? Huh? Why? Why? Huh? Why? Als Schauspieler ist Sterling Hayden für uns lange Zeit fast identisch gewesen mit seiner Rolle in Johnny Guitar. Als der Gunfighter, der des Kämpfens müde ist, seine Pistolen in die Satteltaschen steckt, und mit einer Gitarre umherzieht. Der einen Ort sucht, an dem er sich niederlassen kann. In der Nähe der Frau, deren Liebe er hofft, wiederzugewinnen. Nur um mitten hinein zu geraten, in den mörderischen Wahnsinn und die Verwirrung der Gefühle, die entstehen, mit dem Heraufkommen einer neuen Zeit. Später kam dann noch der Asphalt Jungle dazu. Seine Rolle als der raue, weiche Pferdenarr Dix Handley, der entwurzelt ist in der großen Stadt und heimkehren will in das grüne Grasmeer von Kentucky. Der gejagt von den Ordnungsmächten des Landes als Toter dort ankommt. Die Pferde schnuppern an seinem leblosen Körper. Wir haben, worum es in diesen beiden Filmen geht, immer begriffen als ein Stück seiner eigenen Biografie. Aber über seine Filme ist schwer zu sprechen mit ihm. Nicht, dass er zu wenig zu erzählen wüsste, aber was er erzählt, sind meist Anekdoten, launige Schnurren. Er kann die Filmindustrie und sich in ihr nicht ernst nehmen. Von den über 60 Filmen, die er gemacht hat im Laufe der Jahre, lässt er auf Anhieb nur drei gelten. Und Johnny Guitar zählt er nicht dazu. Wir meinten zu verstehen, dass Hayden alle Filme, die er in den 50er Jahren gemacht hat, die große Mehrzahl also, verachtet. Dass er sich verachtet, sie gemacht zu haben und dass er sie mit Verachtung gemacht hat. Dass er sie ohne Unterschied als Filme nimmt, mit denen ihm seine patriotische Tat belohnt wurde. Shirley Temple Hayden, Amerikas Little Darling, der seinen Ellenbogen nicht von seinem Arsch zu unterscheiden wusste. Neunzehnhundertvierzig bei seinen beiden ersten Filmen sei er nichts weiter als ein männliches Starlet gewesen. Ein schöner Junge, der sich gut fotografieren lässt. Erst beim Asphalt Jungle von John Huston 1949 sei er so etwas wie ein Schauspieler gewesen. Und er habe einen Anfang gesehen für ein Dasein in Hollywood, das nicht mehr nur parasitär wäre. Doch dann habe man ja eine andere schauspielerische Leistung von ihm verlangt. Annähernd so gut sei er erst über zehn Jahre später wieder gewesen in Kubricks Dr. Strangelove und wieder in der Rolle eines hysterischen Antikommunisten, als General Rapper, der den Atomkrieg auslöst. Seit mehr als zehn Jahren spielt Hayden wieder regelmäßig in Filmen, in großen Nebenrollen und kleinen Hauptrollen und zumindest seit Robert Altmans The Long Goodbye mit einer neuen Einstellung zur Schauspielerei. Sie ist sein Nebenberuf geworden, den er nicht zu häufig ausüben will, den er nicht mehr verachten mag und den er braucht, um ohne Geld sorgen seiner eigentlichen Arbeit nachgehen zu können. My possession is uh, the same thing I'm, again I'm doing with you. I don't know exactly what you're doing. Hmm? Hmm? Maybe you don't. Hmm? But I have it down in here. I have an instinct. Hmm? 
a strong goddamn instinct that says to me sometimes, go, man, go. So I'm going with you, as we know. We're going, aren't we? Huh? So I went with Altman. Huh? I went with Houston. I went with Kubrick. Huh? You know what I mean? Uh, not knowing. Not knowing. Huh? Not knowing. Huh? Huh? I didn't know on the asphalt jungle what the fuck I was doing. Huh? For me to play a hoodlum? Huh? It's a long way from where I've been. Hmm? And yet, and yet, and yet, may I say, I've been down those streets. Hmm? Huh? I've been down Boston in the middle of winter, you follow me? Without a goddamn fucking dime. Huh? Not a dime. Can't even take a shit. Huh? What do you do? Snowing. You think, my God, why, huh? And all I'm asking is, is to get a job, huh? Get a job on a ship, okay. So this guy, this guy, this man, this character, uh, Dix Handley, huh? In, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Asphalt Jungle. Um, what's he doing, huh? He's trying to make a heist. <laughs> And they need him because he's rough, huh? And I know I'm rough. Excuse me, if I have to be. Hmm? And they hire me because I'm rough, hmm? I think, okay, if I'm here, eh? I'll go along with you. Sure, I'll go along. Hmm. Yeah, Whitmore, Marilyn Monroe, Sam Jaffe, Louis Calhoun. I mean, <laughs> should we talk about a cast? For a moment, should we talk about a cast? Isn't that beautiful? Calhoun, Monroe, <coughs> excuse me, Whitmore, Jaffe, Shirley, the basic problem is, um, Is do you have the capacity to fight, huh? Right? Huh? Huh? You know, I read about Che. Hmm? Hey? Our friend? Che? Hmm? Okay. Mm -hmm. I read about Lek. Hmm? I think in a way, yeah. I'd like to do that, but I cannot. I'm not. I'm not that strong. Hmm? Hmm? It's that simple. Huh? Huh? I don't have the strength to be Fidel, or Che, or Lek, or all the people around the world tonight who are fighting, hmm? whose names we don't know. Hmm? No. What I want to do is crash right here, you know, in this beautiful place. Hmm? Put a van, hmm? put a hashish, hmm? put a music. Hmm. Or go to the hotel, or meet my my, my wife in the, in the Plaza Hotel. As I said, perhaps the most beautiful hotel, and certainly in the United States. Mm -hmm. And have a good time. So I do. But, as you, with your beautiful question, as you said to me, there's a part of me that thinks, no, I shouldn't be, uh, I shouldn't be here. Hmm? Hmm? I shouldn't be in the plot. I should be up there on the goddamn mountains where Che was, huh? or where uh, Fidel was, or where uh, Lek is, you know, or wherever, uh, you know, where people are all over the world, huh? But I ain't going there. <laughs> Ain't no hot baths. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Jesus Christ, water.
Bonsoir. Ouais. Von einem Tag auf den anderen hatte Hayden aufgehört zu trinken. Er war förmlicher geworden und lakonischer. What I really see, of course, is um, the uh, the heart of myself. You know, some days, like you know, the last few days when I'm drinking hard, huh? I look in that that mirror up there. I think, holy shit! <laughs> in one sense, huh? But in another sense, I think, uh, yeah, you old fart, huh? That's you. Huh? Huh? Go ahead, let her rip. Huh? Let her rip. I never feel, um, may I say, um, diminished. I just think like uh, like if I looked in the mirror now, huh? I think, hey, baby, s slow down, huh? huh? Stop, stop, huh? Stop the booze, huh? sure. On the other hand, as as we've said to each other, I think, well, again, it's like the third rail, huh? If you're going, baby, go, huh? Go, huh? Go, huh? Go, huh? Go, huh? Let her rip. Henry Miller's word, let her rip. I love that expression, let her rip. Great, isn't it? Let her rip. Hmm? No? Yeah. Höflich gab Hayden uns zu verstehen, dass er jetzt allein sein sollte. Einige Wochen darauf erhielten wir aus Amerika ein Telegramm. Er spiele wieder in einem Film. Ein anderes Telegramm, so lang wie ein Brief nach etwa einem halben Jahr. Er sei wegen des Alkohols kurz in einer Klinik gewesen, habe seit Monaten keinen Tropfen mehr angerührt, schreibe täglich an seinem Buch und fühle sich glänzend. Und ob wir nicht weiterdrehen wollten. Wo auch immer. Wir haben uns darüber sehr gefreut. Aber das wäre ein anderer Film.
Returning. Stevenson um, is buried in uh, British Samoa. Hmm? Up on the hill. And you go up to his to his grave, to his tomb, and you read. Ah, it's a long one. Neath a wide and starry sky, dig the grave and let me lie. Glad did I live, gladly die. And I lay me down with a will. Home is the sailor, home from the sea. And the hunter, home from the hill. Damn, 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 damn. Yeah. Bonjour. Hey. Yeah. Look at the light on the water. The way it's uh, the, the, the the river is uh, popping. Yeah. Home as a sailor, home from the sea, and the hunter home from the hell. I raise a salute to you, to you, hmm? to all of you. A toast to you, an empty toast, huh?